Hello, and welcome to this training course on Beyond the Basics of the OS X command line. I am Chris Tarnowiecki. I'm also known as Tarny. You can find out more information about me at my website at www.tarnyinc.com, or you can follow me on Twitter at Tarny the Trainer. I hold many Apple certifications, and I have been continuously certified as a trainer since 2001. In addition to authoring training videos, I provide technical services on networks, Apple devices, and software. I teach OS X and server information technology courses in my facility in Cincinnati, Ohio. Please feel free to visit my website for more information on live classroom courses. While this is not a certification training course, I will endeavor to give you the benefit of my experience and knowledge on these topics. I have recorded seven other training courses on OS X and server topics. The most recent is on OS X Yosemite Server. This course makes the eighth. Now on to the information about this course. The first two chapters are about getting comfortable with the terminal app and how certain actions map to corresponding actions in the Finder. Then we add more command line utilities to our computer and even install the full Xcode development suite. The next two chapters deal with getting system information and then later configuring system information. The next three chapters concern data storage, management, and location of information. This includes information on Apple's metadata. The network system concerns configuration and management of that system from the command line, while the directory services chapter and profiles chapters are related to working with a server, possibly with a mobile device management system. The chapter on keychains presents information about this very important part of Apple security, and the chapter on data transfer and remote management will allow you to remotely manage your computers without resorting to third-party applications. In the next chapter, there is much to be learned about software, whether installed via App Store or Installer Package. The chapter on processing media is fun and may give you some ideas to make your scripts more interesting. The log system chapter is very useful for monitoring or troubleshooting your computer and applications. Lastly, the course ends on a chapter devoted to exploring some automation and development topics. I hope that you find this course useful.